This clip shows a man, it looks like he's carrying an anti-tank mine. He did this while managing to keep his cigarette in his mouth. This is the sort of extraordinary resistance Russia is facing here. 100 miles northeast of Kyiv, a man tries to block a Russian tank. He kneels in front of it, determined to stop it in its tracks. U.S. officials believe this will be a Pyrrhic victory for Vladimir Putin, symbolized by that Ukrainian grandmother who confronted the Russian soldier. After berating him, she handed him some sunflower seeds to put in his pocket and then said she looks forward to seeing sunflowers grow when his dead body lies down on Ukrainian soil. Okay, I'm, I'm not a military strategist at all. But if a grandmother hands me seeds and tells me that sunflowers will bloom from my corpse, I think it's time to retreat. And I also love how her aggression was still on brand for a grandma. Like, she's wishing him death, yes, but she's also doing gardening at the same time, you know? The only way we could have been more grandma is if she used his blood to spell out a message asking why her grandson isn't married yet. And you know, just by the way, just by the way, one of the strangest experiences of the modern world is following a war on social media. Because all the other stuff on social media doesn't go away. It just gets mixed in together. Like, my, my whole timeline this week was Ukrainian civilians picking up weapon, rocket hitting a building, uncut jams, tanks rolling into Kiev, uncut jams, uniting the people of Ukraine. Did I say uncut jams? But those people that we're seeing, in Ukraine, those are the ones who've just gone viral. One of the reasons Ukraine has been able to put up such a fierce resistance to Russia is because everybody, and I mean everybody, is stepping up and joining the fight. Across this country, we've seen volunteers who've taken up arms, while others are making Molotov cocktails, including this group of women who've set up an assembly line. Painter Natasha Takchenko says she's put down her brush, now mastering the art of making a Molotov cocktail, hunkering down with her neighbors in the parking garage of their apartment building turned bomb shelter and makeshift factory. Similar scenes across the country. With how-to instructions broadcast on state TV. Even the former prime minister now going viral with his demonstration. The government encouraging all Ukrainians to take up arms and fight. This man leaves with two AK-47s, even though he's never fired a gun. Do you know how to use that? Uh, to tell the, tr the truth, I am not good at it, but I understand. I just need to... to uh, have some, uh, to find some quiet place and figure out how it works. Wow. Can you believe it? That guy was just given two assault rifles, even though he has never fired a gun. I mean, if you're American, you can believe it, of course, but for everyone else in the world, this is crazy. And how insane is it that Ukrainian public television is actually teaching people, teaching people how to make Molotov cocktails? You understand how insane that is, right? Like, imagine if during the Cuban Missile Crisis, Mr. Rogers had come out like, all right, kids, I'm gonna show you how to kill your communist neighbor. Now, when you talk about Ukrainians stepping up to this moment, one big part of this resistance movement is Ukraine's president himself, Vladimir Zelensky, who, by the way, nobody thought would be able to lead his country, like, even less so in a war against Russia, right? And the reason people had their doubts is because just four years ago, Zelensky wasn't even in politics. He was a comedian, yeah. He was acting in TV shows, busting moves on Dancing with the Stars. And, and this is completely real, this is completely real. He even showed up on a TV show where he pretended to play the piano with his penis. <laughs> See? This is why I always wipe down the piano with Lysol before I play. Yeah, I don't want my penis touching the same keys as someone else. But you see that guy? You see that guy? You watch that clip, you're like, ha, huh, that's ridiculous. He's the president of Ukraine right now. Yeah, he's the guy who has to rally his country against an overwhelming Russian invasion. And despite everyone's doubts and everything that they thought he would be, this man has more than stepped up to the occasion. With his country in crisis, Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky, is the very definition of leading from the front, sharing videos of himself on the street to reassure his people that he's still in the country.
He's braving Russian missiles and airstrikes and telling Ukrainians, you are strong, you are unbroken. He reportedly turned down a US offer to help him evacuate, saying, I need ammunition, not a ride. Damn. That's hella gangster. I need ammunition, not a ride. That's some action movie shit right there.